Hi friend, so here today I'm going to show you how you can enable the salary option inside the check time software. Enter your username and password. After that go to the maintenance option. Click the system option. Check the salary. Update. Press OK. So you will see here one salary wages option. So you can see got wages option here. So click the wages option, go to the setting, select the department here, which employee you want to calculate the salary, go to the employee, do his salary setting from here. First you can set the monthly salary, then you can set the daily wages, then hourly salary. For the hourly salary you have two options, schedule and actual. If you are deducting their late, early, all those things, then you set actual. If you are not deducting any late or something, then set the schedule. Actual is paying only for how many hours they work. Schedule is paying for them how many hours they have the schedule. Supposed to be one employee have the schedule 8 to 5. So it pay for 8 to 5. But the employee is one hour late. She work only seven hour not eight hour so when you selecting actual it paying for a seven hour only how he work actually so this is a thing so you can set like if i set from here maybe 50 per hour for him over time first is five ringgit per hour second is 10 ringgit per hour and third 15 ringgit per hour up to you you can set all the setting Overtime all is by per hour, normal day OT, rest day OT and public holiday OT. You have to key in here the value minimum 4 uh, decibel maximum. Then here also. So same thing, other detail is optional. You can buy cash, check transfer is up to you. That is your personal setting. You can do the thing. Then you save. We have some other setting, add group advanced loan this all i will explain you so first we check the salary so after this you have the salary setting you can go to the advance if any employee taking advance from you like as for this employee maybe he take 200 advance select the department select the employee add so this 200 advance will be proceed for this month where we are calculating his salary for I have the data for the last whole month so just select from he take the advance on this date and so this one you want to delete you just select you can delete the wrong entry that's it so this is 200 advance he have for that month which we are cal calculating you want to check his statement for the advance how many time he take how many he return all you can check from here After this, you can loan. If any employee taking the loan, you can select the department, select the employee from here. How much loan he taking? Start date. How many installment he want to make? How much EMI? Sorry, how many how many months he want to return the loan? First has to be ten month. He want to return the loan. He start date maybe and he also start date how much emi he want to pay loan amount how much if any interest all those you have to calculate pre-calculate here is no interest option nothing you just enter the final amount in the emi and how many months so system will automatically deduct this emi every month from his salary whenever you calculate his salary so for the loan statement you can check from here the loan statement how many time he return how much is the balance everything then after this we go to allowance and deduction because every company have some allowance and some of the deduction maybe the allowance here I you can define any name you can allowance of optional only or recording every month so you can set the allowance here amount or percentage how you want to set the allowance 
so save so this is the allowance set for the guy then the deduction maybe he have some kind of deduction you can give the name and deduction what he have amount or percentage how you want to give this can then save so this is the deduction he have now one allowance he have one deduction he have if you want to create the group for deduction and allowance you just go to the group here give the group name then group code so you have to select the add allowance I will just create the allowance add it then add deduction select from here add so this will be added to his account so under this name we have one allowance and one deduction save done so after this you want to view the group you can view from here then after this we can go to the setting employee same employee you want to add the group here once you add the group here plus system will show you the group select so his allowance and deduction apply for him if any loan will come here this is his due amount you want to view so you can view from here so he take 200 loan 200 be deleted that's why it's automatically rid of the account so 200 he still have the balance so this is the setting you can save now done after this when you want to process his salary then just you have to follow the step get attendance verify attendance salary calculation and month end so after this you click the get attendance then select the employee select the date what date to what date query once you query you can see his salary detail from no sorry the attendance detail from here 14 day he work 126 hour overtime rest overtime public holiday paid or unpaid leave all those things is here then you want to process the data for this one I process for 20 and process so once you process done so this was under process in this employee same you can continue with different different employee then process the data then all the data will be go to verify attendance second one go to verify attendance select the employee select the months which we already process so we have the data here in case something wrong you want to edit you can go to edit where you can do some changes here why you do the changes or you can write on the note here then update then after this we will go to the salary calculation once you go to the salary calculation select the employee select the month query once you query sorry we select the employee so we have his salary calculation so you can see here the basic salary overtime salary everything is here already calculated so if all okay you can verify done after the ver verify you can go to the month end month end means you are closing before the month end make sure you process all the people salary how many you want to calculate because once you end the month you cannot calculate salary for this month again so view so we have here you can see here all the people how many you process then you can proceed to month end once you proceed to month end you will put your password verify done and your month is end for that one you want to print the report you just go to print reports select here how many employee you want to print you want to print the salary slip go to the salary slip so you can print a salary slip how you want the detail everything then after this salary in detail also you can do from here then other summary report also you can print from here if you have all the employees so like this you can print the salary details and summary all those things 
So this is a basic salary calculation in the check time software. Your past payroll all you can check from here. Get your check time biometric system today. For more info, visit our website www.check-time.com.